offer advice to people wanting to integrate music and theology together, I always think of Paul writing to the Colossians, and he tells Christians to let the word of God dwell in them richly by singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And I think Paul in some sense knew what every marketer knows, everyone who's ever written a commercial jingle, and that's that simply pairing some simple words to music somehow imprints music on our memories, on our hearts, for a lifetime. And if that can be true with something simple as something to get us to buy a product, how much more true it is with the Word of God living deeply on our hearts. I've often had the privilege to sit with people in the last days and hours of their lives, and I'm always moved by how many people don't go back recalling some theological book or some homily they've heard, but they always can remember a hymn and the people around them always singing hymns of comfort and consolation. And to me, that just raises the stakes for those of us who are interested in this intersection between theology and music. Because if the words we set to music plant those words on people's hearts for a lifetime, how important it is that we take seriously the deepest theological implications of what we are praying with people that will last with them to the end and to the end.